is standard deviation and standard error are commonly used terms with respect to mean are two very different concepts. Standard deviation abbreviated as SD shows how far the individual data points deviate from the mean. Standard deviation tells us how spread out the data points are. Are they concentrated around the mean or they are scattered far and wide? For example, if you ask respondents to rate the taste of food and food hygiene on a 5-point grading scale, you would see that the mean for a group of 10 respondents for the taste of food was 3.2, whereas the mean for hygiene was 3.4. Overall, it seems that hygiene was rated higher than the taste of food. Looking at the mean only tells just a part of the story. If you see a standard deviation for hygiene, you would notice that the responses come from two completely opposing groups, thereby giving a higher value of mean. A standard deviation provides a valuable descriptive measures of such responses. In example 2, we see group A and B distribution of responses with same mean value. Group A, all responses are exactly equal to mean value which shows that the responses did not deviate from the mean and hence standard deviation is zero. Group B has the same mean as group A but the standard deviation is 1.15 and not zero which shows that the individual responses deviate by a little more than one point away from the mean. Standard deviation it is a measure of dispersion of a sample data values from the mean. Standard deviation is the square root of the sum of squared differences from the mean divided by the size of the data set. Standard error, abbreviated as SE, tells us how accurate the sample mean is compared to the actual population mean. You need to understand sample to understand the standard error. In research, sample is a group of people or items or any measurable thing that are taken from a larger population. We then make inferences about the population from the outcomes derived from the sample. So, if first sample is drawn from the population, the mean could be 3.2, the second sample mean could be 3.4, and so on. If we were to draw an infinite number of samples of exact sizes from the population, then we could display the observed means as a distribution. We could then calculate an average of all the sample means. This average mean would equal the true population mean. We can also calculate the standard deviation of the distribution of sample means, which is basically defined as the standard error of each individual sample mean. A standard error can therefore be defined as the standard deviation of the population mean. In other words, if a standard deviation helps us to understand how far a sample mean is from the real population mean, then we can use this information to figure out how reliable our sample mean is. In real world, we cannot draw multiple samples from a population and we need to analyze one single sample from our population. The margin of error at 95% confidence for our mean is approximately twice the value of a standard error. margin of error at 95% confidence tells us that mean is plus or minus two times the standard error. Putting these value, we figure out that true mean is most likely between 2.94 and 3.46 respectively. The standard deviation and the standard error are two commonly used terms, but they represent two very different concepts. The standard deviation tells us the shape of data distribution. It also tells us how close the individual data points or values are from the mean value. Standard error, however, tells us how close the sample mean is to the true population mean. Together, they present a complete information than just the mean alone.